In this video, I want to go through creating a super simple CRM within Microsoft Loop. So first thing to do is log into Microsoft, go to loop.microsoft.com. You'll see this page come up and click on the plus icon to add in a new page. We're going to call this our CRM. Add in whatever um, icon you would like, whatever cover you would like. Let's come down. Try not to spend too much time choosing. Now from here, you do actually have the option to either just start typing or you can choose from some of the other templates. So you might find that coming into some of these templates and you kind of look at the way some of these tables are set up may help you kind of in jump starting. But what I want to do is starting from scratch, I'm going to forward slash and I'm going to go to progress tracker. So I'm going to use this as my CRM and I'm just going to call this contacts. Now this is not, I guess, linked up, but what we can do as well, forward slash task list. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is rename, full name. Add in, we might add in another one and we're going to, you can see here all our options. So I'm going to leave it as text. Now I could put this as, this is actually going to be the company that they work for. We've got an option for, say they work, these people both work for ABC Corporation. I can click on here and drag that across. Um, you've got the option for doing it like this, where we're actually putting in um, the name of the company there. You can also come over. Where are we going to add it? I might just add it in here. I'm going to change this column type to a label. Label group. And I'll change that label group to company ABC XYZ. And this depends on if you've got people who are from the same company. So just visually, I can kind of just easily select those companies. So if you've got, you know, 20 people from the same company, um, it's probably easier just to have them as a kind of like multiple select rather than having to type out the name for each of them. But we've got the name, the company, uh, we've got, say, the owner of the actual, um, I guess it could be lead or contact. We can expand this out to make it a little longer. And we can kind of adjust these by clicking and dragging them across. Uh, so if you have multiple people working on this CRM, you can kind of add those in. So I'm just going to add myself in as the owner of this one. Um, now you could, I'd probably change this progress one and I'm going to change that to status. And I might change this to lead. Contacted. Uh, we'll just call this new client. There are a whole lot of these statuses that you could put in, but I know they're going to be different depending on the CRM that you're actually building. I'm not interested. Leave that in red. So let's say that this is a lead and this is a new client. And then we add another one. Tom sample. So that he is not interested. Um, and then what we might put here for end date, we're going to rename that to last contact. So we'll just select some default dates over here. When they were last contacted, you could put in a um, next contact date if you'd like to. Um, let me just add that in here. I'm going to just rename this. Uh, 
And that's just going to help us keep track of um, which of these particular leads you want to contact in the future. So there's nothing really dynamic about those actual dates where, you know, it's telling you how many days since you last contacted someone. Um, but it's just a way of, I guess, having a conversation with them, that last contact, and then setting in the next contact date there as well. Uh, let's have a look at what else we could put in. We could put in some um, contact details as well. I might even just change this one, change the column type across to, we'll leave it as text. Email. Where you could put in their email address and you could do another one for phone and for their website as well. So we've got these details. You could put in some, I guess, maybe some basic status notes. It's getting a little long, but if you wanted to put in spoke to bottom, da, 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 da. That's, I guess, one way of being able to do it. Another way um, is to have both this contacts alongside this task list. So with this task list that I've got, call Bob, Sonny, so I guess you could maybe as a little workaround, for example, you could kind of use this task list and to do it like this, where you're actually maybe putting in the name of the actual contact afterwards. Otherwise, another option would be, if I put another progress tracker, and then we've got like these task list areas. Uh, let's have a look what I've got. Maybe we'll leave that over there. We'll drag this one over. You could kind of create a task list here where this is the task. Tasks. And then this could be rename to client. Or maybe we'll keep it consistent and say contact. Assign it to me, and we'll change this one, due date. We could even bump that one out. We could say, we're going to change that to a label, but we're going to move that across to this priority one. So we could just say which things are kind of like low and medium priority. So you'll probably find um, that having the CRM set up in this way where you're keeping track of all your contacts up the top, it is still really, really basic. I've got to like <laughs> repeat that so many times um, just because of um, the limitations, things aren't really connected. There's nothing really telling you when to contact them next. But if you want to use Loop as a CRM, this is how you would set up with the contacts and then you would have um, potentially another section, which would be tasks related to that, um, those contacts. And this probably looks like the nicest way to do it with this task list using this, um, the same setup as the top, rather than using the actual task list component, which you could use and put in brackets the actual name of the client. Um, that is a potential way of doing it. If you want it kind of pretty simple, you don't need additional columns, I'd go for this task list one. Um, if you wanted it to have more detail, so say I had it like this and it said call Bob and then I wanted to also put in a description, more details of that particular task. So I might say, um, speak to Bob about proposal. 
a little bit more context, you're probably going to find having this kind of format down here a little easier than having that one. So then if you don't want to use this, we can take that out. And then we're left with um, this setup. So they're not linked, but I can still see from here what contact that I need. It's going to have all my contacts here. I mean, if you end up having a whole lot of tasks that you're doing, you might want to move this whole task list to the top and have contacts at the bottom. Um, but generally, this is a way to set up a simple CRM within Microsoft Loop.